Okay, this is a good example here of a, a situation where you need to know the, the volume of the concrete you're going to need for the for a post hole. These particular post holes here, they have a, a six inch uh, footing at the bottom of them. Uh, so we have to do two separate calculations. All right, you're going to need to know three criteria for the for this concrete calculator to work. You're going to need to di know the diameter of the hole, the depth of the hole, and the size of the post if there is any. Okay, from that the calculator automatically return the number of bags you need and the cubic yards. So, of course, if it's going to be too too many bags, we'd be better off just to get a concrete truck out here. Uh, concrete's cheaper and uh, it's a lot less work involved. You know? Okay, we'll punch the numbers in the calculator for the for the footing, the six inch depth, the, the twelve inch diameter, and the number of holes. And we came up with uh, nine bags of uh, sack creek, sixty pound bags. Uh, that's not too bad. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, go that route for the for the footings. Okay, and that's, what happened here? He hit a pretty big rock when he was digging his hole, so he had to move his. This, luckily, this was the first hole, so. He was able to move just his uh, batter board strings just a little bit to uh, to miss that big rock. All right, he's in the ground probably about 36 inches with about a uh, this hole right here says we're gonna probably average about 18 inches. And that's what you got to watch out for. The rest of these holes, they're 12 inches in diameter and about 30 inches deep. Uh, but you want to really make sure you check each one of them with a tape measure and. Uh, you know, if you have to, you have to calculate some of them individual. But, uh, it looks like it's pretty uniform on all of them, except this one hole. Well, here's another one. He had another rock right here. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to check these holes with a tape measure and calculate them separately. Okay, we don't want to we don't want to find out there's going to be too damn many bags of concrete to fool with. Uh, but what, when we push the numbers in for the for the rest of the post hole, though, came up with a lot of bags. Even though it wasn't two yards of concrete, and it's two yard minimum, I'm going to go ahead and get a concrete truck out here because that's just turning in many bags to handle and mix up and got to get a whole lot of water out here, and it's just it's just uh, it's just too much too much expense, and it's just not worth it. 